Well, despite the snowy forecast, people running in the race for the cure will most likely be using water bottles. And today, one of the most popular water bottle makers, Nalgene, says it's changing the way it makes its bottles over chemical concerns. KXLY 4's Tanya Dahl is with us tonight. And Tanya, Nalgene says its bottles are safe, but... But, you know, most people recognize this bottle, but the manufacturer behind this product says it's pulling off some of its merchandise from shelves. It's because of a chemical found in plastic like this. Take a look. Now, jean bottles are used by athletes and non-athletes alike for their durability and convenience. Ken Eastman and his daughter say they have at least six bottles at home. We do use Nalgene bottles. My son uses it for soccer, for sports. My wife brings in one to work every day. But the plastic that's in Nalgene bottles could be harming you. The company that makes them says it's pulling some of its merchandise off shelves because of consumer concerns over bisphenol A. Some medical research links the chemical to neurological and behavioral problems in babies, along with diabetes, cancer, and obesity. If they're valid, then, then it's to be of concern. Bisphenol a or BPA is found in everyday household items like baby bottles, sippy cups, pacifiers, food containers, and even water bottles. The FDA says this amount of exposure is safe, and the American Chemistry Council agrees. Scientific and government bodies around the world have evaluated the safety of bisphenol A, and those evaluations uh, collectively support the conclusion that bisphenol A is not a risk to human health, in particular at the very low levels that are present in consumer products. But BPA products are experiencing a backlash. Canada says it plans to ban products with the chemical, and Walmart says it will be pulling BPA products off its shelves. Residents we spoke to in Spokane say they won't get too concerned quite yet. It seems like everything anymore uh, is cancer causing or creates all kinds of hysteria and it's hard to know whether or not it's it's accurate. You can't just knee jerk unless there's a definite risk to health. Not this maybe stuff doesn't do it for me. And there's been limited testing on the effects of BPA in humans. Scientists say it is toxic to lab animals. So how do you know if there's BPA in a product that you buy? Well, take a look at this bottle. If you flip it over and look over here for the recycling symbol, if you see a 07, there's a good chance that BPA is in this product. Reporting live from the newsroom, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4.